guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and right now we are going to remove the airbag control module on this Nissan Rogue. These are the tools that you're gonna need on the Nissan Rogue. I have my power drill with a hex bit, a socket wrench, with an extension and a deep 10 millimeter socket and I have my T15. Now the first thing we want to do is disconnect the battery first. Anytime we work with the airbag system, whether it's the module, the seat belts or the airbags, it's best practice to disconnect the cables from the battery first. I'm using my 10 millimeter and I'm going to loosen this nut right over here. Once you have it loosened up, you wanna just go ahead and wiggle it right up and just put it to the side. Same thing on the positive. This nut right here, 10 millimeter. And make sure you can put it completely to the side and you can actually put something non-conductive right over the contact or over the battery contact right over here. And this is just a precaution. That way, while we're working with the airbag system, there's no chance of this coming back and making contact with the battery. Now that we're inside the car and the battery has been disconnected, we're gonna come right over here and right in this coffee holder area right here, there's this panel here that actually comes right up I'm going to get a good firm grip on the inside right here and just pull right up. And if you look, you'll see these tabs that were holding it in place. Now we're gonna come right down in here and the module is located right beneath this air vent right here. And instead of taking out this black air vent right here that you see that's right between us and the airbag module, right down in here. We're going to use our deep 10 millimeter socket with an extender and we're gonna get right down in there and take out the bolts. But before we do that, we're going to wanna get right in front of the module. The plugs are right in front, they're yellow. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars, plus you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below, or just go to myairbags.com. Now the plugs are the first thing we wanna attack. They're right here in front, there's three of them. There's one, two, and the third one's behind this piece right here. They're connected individually to the front of the module. And because of the tight space right over here, you won't be able to see while I'm doing it, but once I have the airbag module plugs disconnected, I will show you afterwards how they're connected. Now, for those of you that can get your fingers right in there and detach those plugs right from here, then you're you're all set. You're ready to go just right down in there. And for those of you with larger hands, you want to go ahead and get some more space. You want to be able to get one hand in here and the other hand from the side 
So we're gonna go ahead and take the side panel apart over here. The way we do it, these side panels right here up, up top, they kind of pop right off a little bit, but they don't completely come off, just pop them to the side. And as you do that, you notice this piece right here will pop right up as well. So you can lift it up just enough so you can see these little hex fasteners right here, these Phillips heads right here. You wanna take your hex bit. Once you have that piece out, next you wanna take your T15. And you're going to use it to remove this little screw right over here on this side, on the front. Once you have that out, you should be able to pull and that will come right out. Next, we wanna go ahead and we'll start working on this side piece right here. And in order And then on the side here, And as you can see, it doesn't fully remove, it's still connected. It still goes over the top and over the middle. But the point is that this is all loose now. You can actually get one hand underneath it and work with the other one up top. So from the side now, I can work one hand in like this. And then over the top, I can work with the other hand. And basically what I'm doing is I'm pressing down with this hand on top this little button here and i'm pulling with this hand i'm pulling on this plug all right so now that we have these unplugged i want to show you they're basically plugged in right up top here right over here there's this little tab right up top and when you squeeze that tab right there on top and simultaneously pull on the plug that will release the plug from the front of the module. So right there, that little tab, that little button right there, you wanna press on that and simultaneously pull away from the module. And that's how you get these all unplugged. It's really important that the battery is disconnected while we're doing all this. We don't want any power going to the module while we're disconnecting the plugs or the bolts from the module. And if you're having any trouble unplugging these, a lot of people with larger hands, they will have trouble unplugging this. The other option is to go ahead and lift the entire console right up. It's held down by some bolts in the back and in the front. And you can take up the whole center console right out. And that will make it a lot easier to bypass the air vent right there and to access the module. So now that we have the battery disconnected and we've unplugged the plugs from the front of the airbag module, we're going to go ahead and take our deep 10 millimeter socket. I've got an extender on it. And the reason for that, I wanna be able to get right into here and remove these three bolts that hold down the module. And there's the first one. And there's a second one. And the last one is right there up front. You can still use that 10 millimeter. And if you look, you can also use a hex bit that fits right over the top of it as well. And there's that last one right there. And at this point, you should be able to go ahead and take the module right up just want to pull up and out 
And if you're having trouble getting the module out, you can temporarily take these and pull right out. You can go ahead and put these back in later, right there. I'm gonna slide the module out right over this way. And this is what the airbag module looks like on a lot of new Nissans. This is what it looks like on the Nissan Rogue 2018. The 2017, 16, and I'm gonna guess the 19 and 2020 models will look pretty similar to this. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the seatbelts in just a moment. But if your dealership or someone is telling you you need to buy a brand new airbag module because the car was involved in an accident, you can actually reset the original module that comes out of the car. Since 2006, myairbags.com has been resetting these modules and you can actually reuse the original module that comes out of the car after the accident. A lot of dealerships and body shops that don't know about myairbags.com yet will tell you there's no way around it. You have to buy a new one. We've been in business since 2006 doing the very thing that they say they can't be done. So if you're interested in getting the module reset for a fraction of the cost of what it costs new and get the seatbelts rebuilt for the same fraction of the cost of what they cost brand new, you can send them into myairbags.com. We'll receive it. We'll rebuild it, reset it, and send it back off to you within 24 hours with a warranty, and we'll email you a tracking number as well. Now, if you're someone who rebuilds cars, then you already know that the seatbelts, after an accident, the seatbelts will deploy, they'll lock up, and they'll throw codes letting you know that you have to replace them. Instead of replacing them with brand new seatbelts, you can actually get them rebuilt by myairbags.com. And right now, we're going to briefly go over how to remove the seatbelt and how they're connected in the car. So if we were removing the seatbelt, I would start right up here in front. Right over here, you can use a little flat head or a flat bar. I'm just gonna use my hands to get, fingers get right underneath the panel here and start popping this right off, just like this. The only reason I really want to take this off is to free up the side panel where the seat belt is right behind the pillar here so once this comes off this part now we can work on and we're going to work it right up the side here again you can use a flat bar or a flat head to get right in there or you can just get in and push just like this now that we have the front pretty much loosened up Let's go to the back seat. So here in the back seat, I went ahead and moved the seat up just so we can get a nice clear view of this right here. We want to get to the side pillar right here. Again, we have the back footing over the top of the side panel. So work this up just a bit. Once you have it loosened up right about here, you can go ahead and start working the side panel. Just like that there's a piece right here that you can just slide up just like that and slide the belt out and just so you don't lose it I would actually put this right back in and then put this aside so right here we have the main pretensioner unit right here in the pillar and if you look right here this is the plug right here this is the part that receives a signal from the airbag module to deploy. And it deploys this part of the seat belt and that causes the retractor to lock up and hold the person in place. So once that part is deployed, you cannot really use the seat belt. You need to replace it or you can get it rebuilt here at myairbags.com. So this is just one part that deploys. Now, if we follow the seat belt closely, the other end of it right here, Usually we see the seat belt bolted to the bottom right here, but this seat belt continues down and you'll see this cable right here. And if we peel this back right here, you'll see another plug. This one's orange, the other one was yellow, but this part right here also deploys. So this is the second part on this side of the car that deploys. This is all one seat belt. 
but there's two parts that deploy one that's the first part that deploys right there in the retractor and the second part that deploys is right here and if you look there's that long cylinder shaped tube that comes across right there is that long cylinder shaped tube that comes out of that unit and this whole part right here deploys and this part will be scrunched down and that also pulls down this part of the seat belt and locks it into place and this is just an extra security feature that most of the newer cars have this end of the seat belt pulls down and this part locks up so if you're someone who is interested in getting these serviced by myairbags.com first you want to make sure the battery is completely disconnected we don't want any power going into the car while we're working on the airbag system or seat belts then we're going to go ahead and disconnect these plugs right here there is one plug the second plug we're going to disconnect is up here once those two plugs have been disconnected we're going to start working on the hardware right down here is one bolt that disconnects you want to loosen that up and then once you loosen that up this whole part right here the cylinder shaped tube right here that deploys will be loosened up then you can work upwards behind this panel right here it kind of removes the same way that we did the bottom you want to just take that little piece out there's a little screw in there you unscrew and then the rest pops off right at the top here right where the seat belt goes into there's another bolt that holds this piece together you want to unscrew that going down there's another bolt right down here this big one that you want to unscrew so once you have those three unbolted and unscrewed the whole retractor should come out as well as this long cylinder shaped tube over here you can put those in a box along with your airbag module you can go to myairbags.com select your year make and model and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced next just fill out your information check out once you've successfully paid and checked out you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. No printer, no problem. You can go ahead and write out your name, address, phone number, and email address. And then just place that information inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, we'll service your parts, We'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment. I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.